How's it going everybody? Landon with LMR.com. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this replacement map light assembly from Daniel Carpenter Restoration, designed for the 1985 to 1990 Fox Mustangs, as well as showing you guys the very easy installation steps. Like several other interior components in a Fox Mustang, the map light is one of those components that needs some new life. These things fall victim to broken internal parts, the chrome plating on the map light housing has started to pit, or they're completely missing. This reproduction map light I have here is manufactured by Daniel Carpenter Restoration, who is very well known and trusted within the Mustang restoration hobby because of their high quality products. Their map light is built with very close tolerances to ensure that all of the intricacies that make up this assembly function and fit just like the factory one did. Now the base of the assembly is going to be constructed from molded ABS plastic and incorporates the same grain and texture just like the original. You'll notice that all of the mechanisms, facets, and wiring on the underside of the assembly are accurately placed and that the map light itself properly rotates forward and backwards and side to side. Instead of installing a run-of-the-mill halogen bulb, DCR took one step further and pre-installed a five-chip LED that illuminates a 5,000 Kelvin color temperature and, according to DCR, is three times brighter than a factory bulb. The only small call out for this particular part is color availability. Since the map light will fit all hatchback and coupe models from 1985 to 1990, there were several color variances throughout those years. DCR currently offers this in a smoke gray finish, which was a factory color for 1987 to 1989 cars. For those of you that are gonna have to go the route of painting the plastic base, take your time and mask off all of the delicate parts. It's gonna take a little time to do this because of all of the intricacies, but it can be done. Now, replacing this map light couldn't be any easier. If it floats your boat, go ahead and disconnect the negative battery cable. If the existing map light is still in place, go ahead and remove the two Phillips head retaining screws. Carefully slide back the assembly. Bring it down to remove it from the headliner. Before positioning the new map light into place, Verify that the ground strap is orientated through the hole. Position the map light into place. Be mindful of the headliner at the front. Make sure that it doesn't roll up on you when you slide the new assembly forward. Reinstall and carefully retighten the two Phillips head screws. Reconnect the negative battery cable and then test for operation. After that, you're good to go. In this day and age, Maps are obviously no longer used. However, a functioning map light in your 85 to 90 Fox body can help you find something during the early morning or late night hours. It's also a valid part for those of you that are properly restoring your Fox Mustang. DCR did a really good job reproducing this assembly and the smoke gray color matched the interior of our Fox body pretty well. Now, for the most up-to-date product pricing and information, be sure and check out the product page. To see more how-to and review videos covering industry-leading products, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, and don't forget to turn on notifications. While you're at it, check out our other videos, and of course, for all things 1979 to present Mustang and SVT Lightning, keep it right here with the real enthusiasts, LMR.com.